in this weird world of choices, there's always been a misfit. You might be making life choices that make you a normie, but you've always wanted to take that high risk decision and cut above society. For example, you are the kind that wants an Americano instead of a simple latte, or you prefer an angry pit bull over a friendly lab. Still don't get my point. This is a stage one Ford Mustang, and I'm here to tell you all about it because this is the American misfit amongst the polished Europeans. And this being the driver's hub, best believe this car is modded too. Welcome to the driver's hub. My name is Bhavneet Vaswani. You're watching Auto Culture, and this is a stage one Ford Mustang. Ford Mustang is probably one of the most legendary, recognizable and iconic cars ever, period. This S550 generation of Mustang took all of the negatives from the older gen and improved them. The most important one was the rear suspension being changed to a proper, independent rear suspension setup whereas its older brother used an ancient torsion beam setup used by trucks. And it gets better. This pony in its current generation is so good that people have now claimed the Stang to be a thoroughbred sports car. One that can hold its own against some of its European rivals like the M4, C63S, etc. I wouldn't be swayed by these comments though, because the Mustang is almost a 16-foot long car that has some serious traction issues because of its 5-litre naturally aspirated Coyote V8 with the classic American muscle sound. The design cues of the Mustang will always be preserved in time and hopefully, they stay preserved in time because look at it. The design and the formula has always been pretty much the same. Fast back, long bonnet, wide body, big V8 engine inside. This Mustang has had a few aesthetic upgrades like the wrap which is now in this slimish, monsterish color green and a bumper kit which is the GT500 bumper kit which make it look nice, mean and muscular. Get inside the Mustang and the first thing you'll notice is actually how low you sit to the ground and how spacious you are compared to other sports cars because you see in the M2 competition or a Porsche, you'd be quite close to your passenger but in the GT, it is much more comfortable because this has a grand touring essence to it and it does show because I am super comfortable in here. Even for long trips, it looks like a very nice place to be. Plus, it's made for Americans because the seats are huge and they are so comfortable. But that's where the fairy tale ends on the inside because the luxury part is a little bit iffy. The plastics are a little scratchy and the leather is slightly fake. But this wasn't meant to be a luxurious car. This was meant to be a Hooner. And I'm gonna do precisely that. Hold up, have you checked out our website? Thedriversup.com is live now with a new segment called TDH Classifieds where you can list your exotic, performance or even project car and target the right audience. Even if you are in the market to buy yourself a nice car of your dreams, something like this, a first of its kind Skoda VRS 245 with an all-wheel drive system or maybe something more subtle like this Punto Abarth with a Stage 1 Plus and a lot of goodies. So head on forward to TDH Classifieds and get the car of your dreams. This specific Mustang is on a stage 1 Super Chips remap and that bumps the power from 395 to around 435 bhp which feel very scary in a car like a Mustang. You see, uh, this delivers its power only to the rear wheels and it does it in a very old fashioned way which Woo! <laughs> which makes it quite difficult to drive in the city even on its most comfortable setting. Currently, I'm, I'm not a very heavy-footed driver, but I can see myself very scared driving these uh, narrow lanes of Mumbai with a really, really long car and a very, very wide car with a throttle pedal that has a mind of its own. And for someone like me who likes to call themselves quite a seasoned driver that gets to drive 
so many different types of cars that are exotic normal faster than this more expensive than this i am so nervous driving a car like this just because of its twitchy nature and i really really enjoy that because it's putting me on my toes and i love the fact that i need to be on my best behavior while driving a car like this because if you misbehave it will spank you <laughs> don't tickle its belly it lo it loves it don't do that bro i'm just too scared <laughs> 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 what a car bro scared. i was not that scared in the r8 i'm like yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm like this in bro i'm like thoda sa 10 1 percent yeah bro we over there in there and it doesn't give you that confidence that yeah wow. i'm going at speed this is going to be okay this just tells you listen you tickle me and i will not play with you i will have a fight with you and make noise i will tell you listen you're doing what you're doing is wrong coming back to the performance this thing like i mentioned is running a stage 1 tune from super chips to help boost that performance the guys over at cs4 performance have fitted a rausch air intake and a borla catback exhaust which gives it that snarly exhaust note but more importantly to stop this 1800 kg beast cs4 have fitted dba brakes front and rear which provide with some sort of mental comfort when you stomp on the brake pedal to drop banker When it comes to driving the car, yes, it is not something like a European sports car where you can jump in and it feels like a VW Polo to drive at normal speeds. It is a very intimidating car to drive because of its sheer size and also because of the fact that you've heard so many stories about the Stang being a crowd killer. Maybe I was exaggerating just a little bit during the driving sequence, but that's what this car does to you. And just look at that big white smile on my face. Probably once you start driving it more and more, you will feel less intimidated by it when it comes to outright numbers the mustang is in some sort of nurburgring attack weapon or some sort of top speed autobahn missile at heart it still is that big old hunk of american muscle the engine is surely capable of producing some ridiculous numbers but let's be honest in our country anything above 300 horsepower is practically useless on the streets especially a tail happy car like the mustang For people who call the Mustang a crowd killer, I think the finger should be pointed at the people who own the Mustang because they're the culprits. Since the Mustang is so cheap at least in the US, it gets into the hands of young raging blooded enthusiasts who anyway shouldn't get access to a 400 bhp sports car. In India, the Mustang has turned into something of an icon with Ford India selling quite a few of them, being one of the easiest sports cars to mod in India with a whole bunch of aftermarket support. So if you're looking for something to cruise around in, make a bunch of noise and do some donuts in, look no further than the mighty Mustang. A big shout out to CS4 Performance for making this video happen. They have a great facility based in Goregaon, Mumbai, and this Mustang and the R8 that we made a video on previously are their projects. So do check them out for your project car builds and any other mods.